हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम इन हिस्ट्री क्लास स्टूडेंट टुडे आई हैव टेकन द टॉपिक द इंडस्ट्रियल रेवल्यूशन इन ब्रिटेन स्टूडेंट्स इन द एटीन सेंचुरी इंग्लैंड गॉट वेरी स्ट्रेटजिक डेवलपमेंट स्ट्रेटजिक पोजीशन इन द इंडस्ट्रियल रेवल्यूशन वाई इंग्लैंड गॉट वाट वर द फैक्टर्स विच हैड बूस्टेड द इंडस्ट्रियल रेवल्यूशन द इंडस्ट्रियल इस्टैब्लिशमेंट इन द ब्रिटेन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस स्टूडेंट्स ड्यू टू द फोर्टीन सेंचुरी क्राइसिस द मॉडल ऑफ स्टडी द मॉडल ऑफ सोसाइटी द मॉडल ऑफ रिलीजन द मॉडल ऑफ थिंकिंग द मॉडल ऑफ फिलोसफी एवरी थिंग हैड चेंजड in the european continent and much impacted the 14th century crisis in britain of the england and england came out from the tradition foundation by the clergyman by the church by the religion and other evils of the tradition to so students we will discuss the factors which were the main cause for the industrialization in the britain students historians of the world history had given the industrial development time of the britain between 1760 to 1820 why because it was the strategic period the 1760 to 18 Twenty was the strategic period when the England got very good development in the industrialization. Why? Because lot of innovation came. Many inventors hurriedly they want to show their name in the world platform by by the their introduction by the innovation. Many factories, many industries. many mines railways new form of the transportation new models of the schools everything was established over there and people began moved toward the industrialization during this period this region the world historians had given the industrial revolution in began in england the period between 1760 to 1820 and the first factor of the industrialization was the natural resource in students iron and coal both are the basic resource of the any industry and in britain the availability of the iron and coal was enough stock was enough and the specialist the engineers the innovators had got the knowledge idea how to use iron and coal in the industry so it was first cause natural resources mainly iron and coal was the first cause of the industrial development in england and second capital capital the traders of the britain had established good trade relation with the numerous countries students the british traders merchants businessmen had made very good relation abroad all over the countries what you were reach reached they have that time because the increase of the raw materials in the uh, british industries and the new sailors had discovered new sea routes from the europe to other parts of the world from america from india means from asia and america these countries the british merchants traders had made very good relation and they had collected lot of capitals and due to the big uh, collection of the capitals the industrial revolution became possible in the britain and third cause climate britain located near of the sea and this location near of the sea had provided best seaport best link of all over the world whatever trade and whatever routes was possible that time 
and the British merchants for the raw material and for the products. They can easily export and import and with the good climate. So climate become the next uh, cause of the uh, industrial revolution in the Britain. And point number fourth, control over the colonies. The industrial revolution had given good strength and empowered the British merchants and they had searched the new place where was the good availability of the raw material. And these things had made the new idea to make the colonies all over the world. Many Asian country, many African country, America, both continent had made the colony of Britain. They had used these colonies resources for the their empowerment of the industry. There was good availability of the raw material. They had sent raw material from these countries in Britain and the production had sent these colonies for selling. It had made very good collection of the capital, very good collection of the wealth and it had boosted the industrialization in the Britain. And number fourth, shipping industry. The innovators of the Britain had made very good ship for the import and export. Fridge base ships and container base ships and huge uh, model of the ships. These things had provided good facilities for the import and export. So the shipping industry also uh, was the main cause of the industrial revolution in the Britain. And number six, foreign trade. Traders had made very good relation from the foreign countries to use the wealth, capital, human resources, raw materials. And it was the next and other cause of the industrial revolution in the Britain. And last, the uh, innovative ideas. They made new discoveries. The innovative ideas of the Britishers was the main cause of the industrial revolution in the Britain. Engines. Previously, steam engine, then electricity generation model, then generator, then railway, then canals, then shipyards. Many things they had introduced and it had made very good idea of the industrial revolution in the Britain. So student, it is, were the main causes, the main causes were the uh, boosted the British and England economy and it had become the root cause of the British industries which has made to make colonies all over the world and you have knowledge more than 90% of the world countries was the colony of the England. Okay students, thanks.